guys, we're going to switch gears a bit and we're going to talk about actually sublimation transfers. I've been wanting to do a video on how to actually apply the sublimation transfers to a shirt and so I figured this is as good a time as any, right? Okay, so few things to know about sublimation. Okay, sublimation is, uh, dye sublimation is basically just that. You're dyeing fabric. Um, with these uh, sublimation transfers. Okay, so one thing to be aware is sublimation does not print white. So if you, like you see this white right here, that's gonna be whatever color your shirt is, okay? So the other thing is you can't dye dark objects uh, lighter. You can only dye things darker. So that's why it's important for sublimation to use a white or a very light colored shirt because if you put black, on a black shirt, you're not gonna see it. If you put pink on a black shirt, you're not gonna see it. So you have to use light, or, or, or white is best, but white are very light colored shirts. As far as um, a little bit darker colored shirts, if you wanted to do like maybe a, like a blue jean color or something like that, you can do that, but it's best to do that with an all black sublimation transfer. Black's one of the only colors that you can kinda still see on a darker shirt as long as it's not darker than the black. So hopefully that answers some questions about that. That's one of the biggest questions we get is why can't you do sublimation on dark shirts? It's just because you can't see it. So even if the, the dye is transferring to it, you won't see it on a dark shirt, but you will see it on a white or a very light colored shirt. The other thing to be aware of for sublimation is sublimation dyes only adhere to polyester fibers. So what happens is when the dyes get heated up, heat it up, it actually infuses into the polyester. So the more polyester content that you have in your shirt or um, whatever you're pressing, the brighter and bolder the colors are. So if you have like a 50% polyester shirt with 50% cotton, it's not gonna stick to the cotton, but it will stick to the polyester. So it'll be like a faded look. So that's another thing to keep in mind. The higher the polyester count in your fabric, um, the brighter and bolder the colors will be. Another thing about sublimation is before you press it, the colors are gonna look really muted, especially like blues and mints, turquoise. Those colors will look completely different after you press. It's weird. So don't freak out whenever you print out your sublimation if you're doing it at home or even if you order one and it looks completely different, it changes once it's heated. It gets a lot more bolder, brighter, vivid, and the blues and greens, those change a lot. So hopefully that answers a few questions. Okay. Oh, another thing for sublimation, you want to use a heat press or you can use the easy press too because you need 400 degrees Fahrenheit and iron will not work unless you're doing like a little bitty tiny thing because you don't want to move it around at all. When you press it, you want to keep it like and not move it like it's got to stay still. So easy press too will work because it does get hot enough or heat press is definitely, definitely recommended. Um, iron and sublimation just do not mix. Okay, so. Here are some other tips and tricks. Okay, sublimation will go through your shirt, okay? So you always wanna put something in between your shirt or you wanna actually thread your shirt onto your press um, rather than just putting this on here like this, pressing it because you're gonna see this mama bear transfer all the way through to the back, especially for thin shirts. So anytime you're using sublimation, you always wanna protect your press with protective paper, um, and then you always want to uh, protect the inside of your shirt if you're not threading it through. So for this one, when I say threading it through, I just mean opening the shirt and putting it on your press where only one layer of the shirt is on there. That's always the ideal way to press if you can, um, because then you don't have any seams messing you up or anything like that. So this would be considered a threaded shirt. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and put our shirt on here. I'm gonna move it to where the collar is not actually on the press. Anytime you're pressing, it's always good to not have the collars or the seams on the press because anything like that can make it where your um, shirt isn't getting full pressure, okay? This is a Bella Canvas, let me see. This is a Bella Canvas shirt and it is, I wanna say 50% polyester. 65 actually, 65% polyester. You wanna have at least 50, but like I said, the higher the polyester count, 
the bolder and brighter these colors will be. All right, so we got our shirt on there. We have our protective paper. Right now, I'm just gonna use this Teflon sheet just to do a quick pre-press to get any moisture out of it. All right. We're gonna move that. Now, here's another thing to be aware of for sublimation. You'll notice that it's on this square, okay? Now, lighter colored shirts usually won't happen, but if you're using like a more colored shirt, a lot of times if you just put this down and you press it like that, you're gonna see that square. So a good habit to always be in is anytime you're pressing sublimation, just loosely cut around your image. It just will soften that edge and just make it look a lot nicer. Another thing is if you're printing your own sublimations or ordering them, uh, sometimes whenever it's going through the printer, you'll get little bitty dots of ink on the edge. And if you don't cut those edges off, there's a chance that you won't see it and you'll miss it and you'll have like these weird little black lines. Okay, and this does not have to be perfect. This is just loosely cutting around so that you can really see where your image is and that you won't have that box around your sublimation. Okay, um, let me get one more thing, one second. Okay. Okay, another thing you always wanna do before you're um, pressing a sublimation is use a lint roller and just get any loose fibers or anything like that off your shirt because sometimes if you have some loose fibers or anything like that, you'll see these weird little blue and red marks after you press it because we're pressing for a, a, for a full minute for sublimation. So any of those little things getting pressed at 400 degrees for a minute can actually change colors and permanently affect your shirt and your outcome. Okay, so we have our shirt ready. We have it pre-pressed. We have it lint rolled. We have our transfer cut out. Our shirt is at least 50% polyester, is 65. So we're gonna put the transfer face down, okay? So the ink side will be on the shirt. Now, from here, you don't wanna put a Teflon sheet straight on your transfer because what happens is once the ink um, gets heated up and turns into a gas and any extra will kind of dissipate. So if you use a Teflon sheet, that extra ink will just kind of sit on your Teflon sheet and you'll need to clean your Teflon sheet. If not, you won't notice it until you go to press something else and that ink will actually transfer onto something else. So always use some protective paper. You can even use um, regular like copy paper is totally fine to just put on top, okay? So we're just gonna put a couple sheets of copy paper on there. We're gonna take our Teflon sheet and we're gonna cover it all with that, okay? And we're gonna be pressing for 60 seconds at 400 degrees, okay? And y'all just be careful, once this is done, it will be hot. So just be prepared for that, okay? Once this is done, you just wanna remove your transfer immediately, not let it move and then sit somewhere else or you get like a ghosting. All right. Remove that. And that is it. So here is our sublimated shirt. Mama Bear. This particular design is available on the website as a digital download, and it also is available as a ready to press transfer. Um, so that is sublimation. It's super easy. It's not just for fabrics. You can use it for any polyester coated item. So there's tons, like there's tumbler cups. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can use um, sublimation for. As far as washing, this is permanent. You can wash it and dry it like normal no issues, um, and it will last a long time. The other question I get a lot of times too is can you reuse the transfers? They're not really made to be reused, but sometimes like a darker transfer like this, if you're okay with a much lighter version, you can put it on there and press it again. It won't be as bold and vibrant as the first one, but you will still get some ink transfer. But just be aware, you know, if you don't like it, you can't take it off. 
So definitely sublimation is permanent. The amazing thing in sublimation, it has no feel to it. So all it does is it actually changes the color of the fabric. So I hope this was helpful, you guys. We get so many questions about sublimation. Um, on the website, you can order custom sublimations if you have an image that you want printed. Um, or if you have questions on how to print your own, you're welcome to message us. We can give you some uh, recommendations on some good printers and good machines. If y'all have any questions, please comment down below. Um, I will try to answer them as, as best as I can, to, as best of my ability as I can. But I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see y'all next time. Bye.